uh, one of the things with the designation and one of the things that we've learned, it won't provide any protection. It's not going to do anything uh, monetarily. Uh, the big thing is we want to bring more awareness to the importance of those, you know, those little shrimp in the Great Salt Lake. Um, as the kids have been learning throughout um, the year, and we've done a lot of science with them, we've grown brine shrimp in the classroom, we figured out like the sal salinity levels, um, and the kids have learned that the brine shrimp are a keystone species in that ecosystem. Without the brine shrimp, that ecosystem would fall apart. Um, likewise with the brine flies. And so as the kids have learned about it, they've they've been learning about all the different birds that eat the brine shrimp that migrate and come to the Great Salt Lake and then fly on from there, uh, millions of birds. Um, and many of them feed on the brine shrimp. And so no brine shrimp, those birds, and that would collapse. Um, kids presenting this it helps people to see that it's not just an adult problem. It's, it's going to impact the other generations as well. And even though it's just the brine shrimp being connected to the Great Salt Lake, I mean, some of the things that these kids talk about is the toxic dust that will be released if the, if the lake continues to dry up. So they're concerned about their physical health here in the valley as they grow up. Um, the kids have been learning that it's um, it's going to impact the skiing. And a lot of the kids love skiing. And so they're noticing that that Great Salt Lake is not just something we can go to and or we just smell that, you know, stinky air every once in a while, that it really is connected to the health of our valley because we're going to be able to go to the Capitol and present before a committee there. So I've got three of my students that have written um, an amazing speech. Um, they've gone over it and edited it and revised it. Jamie Butler's met with us several times. And so the kids are really prepared to go up there. We're going to go as a whole class. There'll be the, most of them in the audience. And then we'll have three kids presenting the speech and um, just giving their viewpoint. And there's some humor in it as well, you know, as kids, kind of how they see the brine shrimp. Um, we don't have a date yet for when we're going up there. So we're just waiting that that will happen soon. Again, before it was unanimous, every single vote. I mean, people were for it. So I don't see the way we'd have any you know problem this year, them being for it. Um, just kind of time. And I think putting a value on it, that's what I hope that they push it through a little faster because I think there's other things they see as more valuable um, mm -hmm. sometimes. And so what they determine is being the ones to put on, you know, kind of put on the list. I'm hoping, okay, it's here again. These kids really want to see this done that hopefully they'll, you know, speed up that process as well. Um, yeah. But we'll have to see on that.